Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be going over how do you plot 3D points. Um, so this is a, this is the three dimension, what I have right here is I have the three, the three dimensional axes and uh, basically what we're looking at is an XY plane. So if you imagine this, um, this thing kind of laying down flat, this is our uh, two dimensional plane, the X and Y plane right here. And so we've got like a piece of paper lying flat. And then if we if we put the uh, an axis right through in the middle of that flat piece of paper, we've got our 3D space. Now, whenever we solve a system of three equations, we're dealing with the we're dealing with um, the intersection of a plane. Actually, the intersection of three planes. And so, when three planes and plane when I say planes, I mean a flat surface. When three planes intersect in space, they could either intersect in a line. Um, or they can intersect in a point. So when we solve a system of three equations, we have, um, we have a, a, or they couldn't, they might not intersect at all. There's the possibility of, of that too. They're all parallel. Um, but when, when we solve those three and they have a solution, and the solution is one point, then we're looking at a point in three-dimensional space. And that point uh, looks like this. It's x, comma y, comma z. So it's an ordered triple. So when we have an ordered triple, we're going to use this to plot. Now the thing about this this 3D space is that it plots things in rectangle. Um, yeah, we'll say in rectangles. So uh, you kind of heard rectangular form maybe before, and that's because uh, we have recta rect rectangles in the in the um, x y plane. So in this one, we actually have rectangular prisms, or uh, sometimes I mean they kind of look like cubes and. When you draw these points, you really get an opportunity to really uh, work on your drawing skills, 3D drawing skills. So let's take a look at this is our, our uh, this is our, our 3D space, and our z-axis goes up and down, and so down here is going to be they're going to be negative values. So this is negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, okay, and then up here going up is one, two, three, and so forth. Now on the x-axis, these go kind of like at an angle, so out this way, and so out this way we're going to go uh, one, like this, two. Oh, these are negatives. Negative three, negative four. Okay, so they kind of go out in the diagonal, and this is one, two, three, four. On the y-axis, this red part's positive, so one, two three, and so forth. And then out here is negative, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Okay, so that's how we would see um, the, the 3D space here. Now let's suppose we have a point. Let's go ahead and plot a point here. Um, let's plot, let's plot, um, so let's, let's use something that has a, well, let's go. Let's use something that has a zero in it. Let's go zero, three, five. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go zero on the x, so we're not going to go anywhere back and forth, and we're going to go three on the y. So one, two, three, and then we're going to go up five on the z. One, two, three, four, five, and the points out here. Okay. So it looks, it's, and if I was to draw some dotted lines, I like to draw some dashed lines to the point. So you can see it's, it's actually on this, like if we put a flat piece of paper here, it's on that flat piece of paper. Okay, so let's still call that point. Well, that's one point. All right, let's try a new, another point. Um, let's try something that has some, some values in all three of them. Okay, let's try um, one four six okay so here's what we're gonna do with this one we're gonna go it says one four six so we're gonna go we're gonna go one out to the X right here and then we're gonna go four out to the Y four right here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a parallel line to the X axis okay so the best I can I'm gonna draw a parallel line to the X axis from from y equals four 
And then from one, I'm gonna draw a parallel line to the y-axis. And where they intersect, I'm gonna draw, and I'm, let me get rid of this blue line here because it's gonna, it's, gonna, it's gonna be hard to see what we're doing with this blue. All right, so I've taken, I've drawn a parallel line to the x-axis from four, a parallel line from the y-axis at one, and then I'm gonna go up six units. So what I'm gonna do is over, here's five, here's six okay I'm gonna draw a another parallel line to the x-axis from six best I can here I'm gonna go straight up here and then I'm gonna draw a parallel line to the y-axis like this Okay, this is, this is a tough one here, okay? All right, so then I'm going to draw straight up this way until I get to there. And then once I get to the intersection of this Z, okay, where I went straight up from the X axis to this intersection, from there I'm gonna go straight across until I get to my other line. Okay, and this one I'm gonna go out parallel again until I get to there. And then wherever I intersect here, I'm gonna go straight down until I get to the y-axis. And notice here we've got a cube, or it's not really a cube, it's a rectangular prism. The corner right here where, where I meet out here in space, this is where the point is. Okay, so this would be the point one comma four comma six okay so it's out here in space we're drawing a cube and it's really about drawing parallel lines parallel lines parallel lines parallel lines to the axis okay so let's try another one that gets a little complicated so let's try i i suggest maybe practicing the next one and then we'll see what we can do and then go over it okay so why don't you try why don't you try doing this we'll do a third one here try a negative two one and three and what we'll do is we'll use spaces of two to kind of give us a bigger picture if you're drawing this on a phone okay so pause it right now try that out and then uh, come back for the solution all right so here we go i'm going to use spaces of two so i'm going to go negative two on the x so this is negative one and this is negative two and remember from my oh that's a y-axis sorry x-axis okay negative one negative one, we're gonna go two spaces here, negative two, like that. Okay, all right, so what we're gonna do is, from here, remember we're gonna draw a parallel line to the y-axis, and then we're gonna to go to our y, y is one, so y is one right here, and we're gonna draw a parallel line to our x-axis best we can okay all right so now we find where they intersect and that's here from there I'm gonna go straight up I'll draw a parallel line to the z-axis now let's find Z Z is three so one two three now from there I'm gonna draw a parallel line to my x-axis so I'm going out this way I can't have drawn a parallel line. Now be careful because it might look like we're, and then we're going to go from, from our y axis and go straight up. Alright, it's right there. Okay, I made a little mistake here. We don't want to get confused on the back end here. Okay, so we're gonna make, and then we're gonna go from here, this corner we're gonna go out, parallel. All right, so we should be, if we wanna make finish our prism here, it's gonna look kinda like this. Okay, so this is the point right here. Negative two, 
because I want negative 2 here, then over 1, over 1 here, and then up 3, up 3 here. Okay, that z-axis one is the hardest one to get. All right, folks, that's plotting um, 3D points. I wish I had a lot more time to put even more examples because this takes this takes a lot of practice to get used to where you're gonna go. But if you just remember, I'm gonna go this way. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go out and then over and then up and then try to make this uh, this this neat prism here. Um, you might you should be able to get that point. All right. Okay. See you soon. Bye.